send MIDI notes out to a different application like MainStage, uh, we're going to be using our audio MIDI setup uh, to create a virtual keyboard. I uh, just want to go over um, how um, this works in Max MSP. So you can see I've got a Metro banging out some random notes. And um, if you uh, double click on the note out, you'll see that it's currently selecting AU synthesizer, which is kind of like the Max MSP synthesizer. Uh, you can see I have a nano controller plugged into the computer here, but that's not a keyboard. And then I can select from Max one because Max has a virtual keyboard built in. But just to be more reliable, I'm gonna actually set up on the Mac here uh, an audio MIDI keyboard. So I'm gonna double click my audio MIDI um, element here and if I don't see the um, and if I don't see the MIDI uh, studio come up I'm gonna go ahead and go to Windows and then show MIDI studio what we're gonna be doing is turning the IAC driver on by double clicking it and then selecting device online uh, currently there's one bus available for uh, the MIDI here uh, and now that it's available I'm gonna just go ahead and turn this off and you can see that it's high lit and now this device should show up uh, in our max patch so if I double click now I can see the IAC driver right here bus number one um, I'm going to physically uh, load bang this by selecting port and then quote IAC driver bus number one which is identical to what we saw here uh, to just initiate that now when I send data out you'll see that it doesn't make any sound it is actually sending it to this virtual keyboard so now when I open another application like main stage I'm gonna go ahead and select the two keyboard uh, layout here uh, and then what I'm gonna do in the layout program layout area I'm gonna go select this first keyboard and you'll notice currently the ports it's picking up something from every port that's actually sending MIDI data I'm gonna select this and change it just to the IAC driver so this way things don't get confused now I know that I'm sending stuff out of channel 1 and I'll show you that in a second so I'm gonna also select channel 1 uh, for this driver I can change the number of keys that's available but this is for the lower keyboard now while I'm here I'm just gonna select the upper keyboard and I'm gonna change this to IAC driver as well um, but this time I'm going to select channel 2 so the uh, data that comes onto this keyboard is only going to come in from channel 2 uh, and then I'm going to go back to my edit window and I'm going to make this window a little smaller so you can see uh, Max driving the keyboards on this patch uh, I don't need the MIDI studio open any longer uh, so now if I actually turn on the keyboard you can see that the bottom keyboard is actually working but the top one is not that is because, let me stop it, that is because note one uh, means channel number one. If I want to send something to the upper keyboard, uh, I would uh, allow channel number two. And you can see right here that I've actually made another um, identical driver. I'm going to make sure that port IAC driver bus is selected by banging it. And now if I notice that note uh, out number two, which is our channel number, it should actually do the other keyboard. And so you see the other keyboard playing the top keyboard up there. So this is the first keyboard, bottom keyboard, and then this is the top keyboard. And they can both be playing at the same time. So hopefully this helps a little bit, uh, setting up e the uh, note outputs uh, for Max, and then giving you up to 16 possible synthesizers that you can drive in um, the uh, main stage program. Okay.